Hello, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to take the Sapien Insights Group HR Systems Survey. So once you've clicked on your link, you should see a screen like this. It has some information on who should participate, why, and the length, all of that's here. We will ignore the embarrassing photos of myself. Then we'll go to the contact information. I'm obviously going to be filling this out quickly. You should put in the correct information. One thing that I am putting in the full information for though is my email. That is because you can only receive results of your survey if you put in a business email. You don't wanna waste all this time taking this survey only to have it not be counted because it's a personal email. We're, full, we're taking this information and folding it into all of the other organizations that are out there, all the systems that are being used to get a complete picture. And that is just good for both of us. So here we have some tips and tricks, a little bit of which we're going to be going over, but they go into more depth here. The only thing I want to really highlight is that if you're taking the survey and you're disrupted in any way, you have to shut down the computer, you have to move, something like that, by following your original link, it should take you back to the point of the survey where you left off. If for any reason you find that you have been sent back to the start of the survey and you're not seeing your already entered responses, do not go forward from that. We don't want to waste your time. Instead, email us here at research at sapientinsights.com. We will be happy to provide you with the link that has all of your information that has already been entered and saved. You can just pick up right from there. Please take advantage of that. So let's get started. We'll move on. And now you have the option to either take the entire survey yourself. It is lengthy, but as we said, you can save and come back. Or you can select which sections you happen to know best. Maybe you only know payroll. Or you want to answer some of the sections you know best and forward the others to a colleague. So let's pick that one. In this option, I've already selected. These will all be blank when you see it. But we've said, you know, payroll and time management as an example, but your colleague knows recruiting and onboarding. Maybe you've decided, no, never mind, uh, not record, not them. But in this one, we'll say yes, they know recruiting and onboarding. Now we will need your colleague's name and again, their business email. And then they will receive a copy and we'll be able to take the survey just from those areas that you have indicated that they know best. So this starts the survey. The only thing I want to point out here before we wrap up is this menu. These little three bars will have appeared once you've begun. This lets you go through and skip into sections, go back to sections as you see fit. So you'll notice that it doesn't have all of the other areas. You won't see benefits because you've only indicated you know those areas that you've said and your colleagues areas, right? So you would, for instance, say, I'd like to, you know, I'm going to do time management, then go back to payroll. You could do that and go there and then come back using this menu. You can also collapse it again just by pressing these three bars in case it's blocking any of your view. Now let's wrap up. Let's talk about submitting your responses. So we'll click here. Once you're all the way done or you feel that you've complete everything you know, you'll come to this screen. This is the only probably tricky bit is that you'll want to click finish so that it goes dark like that or you know it's colored in and however your system is set up but it should be like that once it's done you can click it again if you've changed your mind and this means okay i'm not done i, I want to go back but click finish and then submit both of those things have to happen before anything goes through and then this is how you know that you've gotten your responses recorded you will also have a chance to review everything that you've said in this survey to make sure that that is correct and in line with what you recall. And then you can download it if you like and have a copy for your records. You will also later be receiving that benchmark report I mentioned earlier. See, that's why it's so important to have your business email. But we've covered everything else. You will notice the individual responses in there and there's plenty of time to go over that. You can always reach out to us with any further questions. But I want to take this last few seconds just to say thank you so much for taking the time to go through this survey and share your expertise with us. It means the world not just to us, but to the entire HR community that are looking for some real 
true answers to some of the big questions that are out there. And your time has been so valuable in being a part of that. So thank you. Have a wonderful day.